Hello and welcome. This is Angie with thecountrystreetcottage.net here today with another edition of Cricut Basics. So Cricut Basics are short little videos on portions of Cricut Design Space. So if you have questions about one little aspect of Design Space, we probably have a video for you. Today's video is all about the flatten function. So we're going to talk about how to use flatten, what it does, and when you would use it right in Cricut Design Space. So first we're going to share how to do that and then I'll talk a little bit more about Cricut Basics if you've missed any of the videos. So I just have a blank canvas opened up in Cricut Design Space. Now I'm just going to insert a few things. So this is just for example purposes only. So I'm going to insert a square first of all. And then I'm going to ins insert an image from Cricut Design Space. I'm just going to insert this Paco image on top of the square. So what if I wanted to, so once this pulls in, you can see that the taco image itself is a bunch of cut pieces. So it intends for you to cut all those pieces out of different colored cardstock and say glue them to a card. But what if I wanted to do a print then cut? So I'm going to print the you had me at tacos and the taco itself, and then I want to, it to cut on a card. So I'm going to change actually the color of my where so we can see this a little bit better and now I'm going to click everything so I have the all of the taco file highlighted so you can see over here on the layers panel everything's highlighted the squares highlighted everything and then if I click flatten now I have a print then cut image so it is going to print everything the you had me at tacos the taco itself and then it's going to cut around the card so now if I click make it we can see that in action. So we can see that it's going to print and then cut. So that's what flatten does for you. It allows you to make anything into a print then cut image. Now, if you want more information about print then cut, what are the sizes you can print then cut? What is this odd box around it? We have another video for that. So I'm gonna link that video in the description for this video. If you can't find it, leave me a comment and I will get that for you. So flatten is super useful. As I said, I have the link in the description below for more about print and cut. So if you're confused even more about the print and cut function, now that you've Googled flatten and you don't understand it, and now you understand flatten, but what is print and cut? Look in the description for this video. Can't find it? Leave me a comment and I will get that link for you. Now, there's even more Cricut Basics. So we've been doing these well over a year now, and we have tons of information on Cricut Design Space and short little videos just for you. So how do you find those? You can head to our YouTube channel, the main channel, scroll down and you'll find Cricut Basics and you can watch all the videos. Have a question about something in Cricut Design Space and want to know if we have a video, leave a question, question below in the comment section and I will find it for you if we have it or I'll do a video later if we don't. So win-win there. If you don't want to miss a future edition of Cricut Basics, then you'll want to be sure to subscribe on YouTube. Then you'll get notifications when we have videos either on Cricut Basics and Cricut Design Space or on craft projects. So if you love Cricut Crafts, you want to be sure to subscribe. So if you like this video, give us a thumbs up, comment below with any questions you have, or just to tell us hello. And I'll thank you all so much for joining me today, and we will be back next week. Thanks, bye.